Tayun. I'm an organizer here in Los Angeles, and my grandmother is from Seoul. So my grandmother is from Taiwan. Brazil. Chengdu, Sichuan province. My grandma is from a small country called Laos. It was really important for me to see this because I've never seen a film like this. That was the first time I saw on screen my own immigration um, story, and I never realized how much trauma there was. The farewell was real. Emotional. Comforting. Honest. I felt like it was my family on the screen. The film is just so deep on so many levels in terms of family dynamics. Saving face is definitely like such a common thing in our culture. You want to project the literal best version of yourselves and that's a way of protecting yourself. My mother actually had cancer, lung cancer as well, and she didn't tell any of us. Uh, my entire family on my mother's side uh, actually passed away from cancer. Seeing it on film is, is very relieving. Those those shots within the movie where she was like, it was slow mode and she was giving those long gazes at her grandmother, like I did the same with my mom. I appreciate stories that deal with grief specifically because grief is something that pretty much everybody experiences at a certain point in their lives, but that no two people necessarily experience the same way. You know, there's sort of like a Western expectation of family to act as a support group for uh, things that are hard to deal with, like grief. I think a lot of other Asian cultures have this too, is this need to carry burden. The struggle to cover it all up. I think in the Chinese side, it's, you know, I mean, there's, not that same, there's not that same sense of like warm fuzzies there. It shows uh, a more authentic, true side of like what, what it's like growing up Asian. And I think once you remove the stereotypes, you realize, oh man, my family's like that, no matter where you're from. There's, there's always kind of an expectation of not just that you're going to band together through a difficult time, but how you're going to band together through a difficult time. It made me feel like, wow, like we should have this conversation more and I should be talking to my grandma or I should be talking to other people about their relationships. Asian American population is one of the fastest growing demographics in this country. They need representation. They need people to tell their stories. Sundance is still sort of the premier American institution to launch independent filmmakers and new voices. Absolutely important that Sundance is supporting uh, filmmakers like Lulu Wong, and I'm so glad they are. It's really amazing to see the opportunities they provide to underrepresented filmmakers. It's great that they're supporting these very, very specific and nuanced stories about Asian American. The East Asian or Chinese, Korean, Japanese is way different from what the Southeast Asians experience. The Laotians, the Vietnamese, the Cambodians. Like within the Asian community itself, there's so much different experiences that haven't been told. Hollywood films have really portrayed Asians as one-dimensional stereotypes, whether they're the butt of the joke, um, you know, the funny foreigner, the buffoon, or the evil villain who maybe knows kung fu, or the nerd. Um, these are all kind of caricatures, right? And um, and they don't represent the the entirety of Asian Americans. I mean, Asian Americans, we're like from so many different countries. I think it's great that we're being seen more. I think it's an honor just to be Asian. I need to book a flight back to, <laughs> to visit my grandparents.